And then last but not least, under again, under miscellaneous, at the, at the top here, you'll notice it says archive root folder. This is a critical piece of information because this is the location of where your images and files are being saved that you create. Now, you can locate them by reading the location there, or if you'd like to change or edit and put your files in a different location, you can select the blue folder icon to the right of that location, and tapping that will open a window allowing me to select where I would like my files to be saved. I do recommend that you select your desktop and add a new folder there. Set up a new folder. I've already done it. You can call it Hovercam or Lessons or Files, whatever you want to call it. I recommend you set up a folder and save that to your desktop. That way, all of your files will be saved directly to your desktop. So if I exit out of or minimize Flex, I should say, you can see I have a folder here where I can easily access those files. So I don't have to launch Flex, go into the Archive Manager to find my files. I can locate them very simply on my desktop. You can also locate files within Flex by going to the Archive. Again, that left pullout window onto the left at the top there, when I select that, it will bring me to my archive. You can see my lessons, my videos and images are all archived there. And the cool thing about the archive manager is at the top, you can see it actually has a suite of tools to organize by stacking these files into folders, converting them into PDFs directly within the archive manager, which is pretty cool. Taking OCR scans, exporting and emailing directly from this archive manager. So you can email your lessons directly within this archive manager post them to class websites or however you share your content with your audience. When you're ready to return to your home screen, look for that blue arrow to the top left corner and that will bring you back to your home screen.